Hey everybody, let's try this again. Okay, I am doing an estate sale haul. I tried this just a little while ago. We were having some issues with our internet speed and I just wanna strangle it. Anyway, hi everybody, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I've got a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde estate sale haul. So basically what that is, it's kinda like that my, you know, buy this, don't buy that kind of haul video where pretty much anytime I go out to estate sales or garage sales or thrift stores, there are going to be things I pick up that are winners and there will be things that are losers and it just happens. I try to get more winners than losers, but every now and then we get losers and sometimes there's extra special winners which we have today but yeah I am live so let's take a peek and see how the stream looks and hopefully I didn't click private on this video because I can't tell how many people are watching right now so if you are there say hello in the chat and let me go double check and make sure that I'm not just talking to myself right now did I put it oh no it's public okay yay I just didn't share it out so everybody will catch up or not but I am live so if you're ever interested in catching me live then go down there and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified when I put out a new video or when I go live so let's talk about estate sales so I went to a three it three ish estate sales today I did do a ride along so I'm gonna edit that and get that put up um, and so yeah I mean there weren't a ton of garage sales because it is cooler weather now it's January but um, anyway, let me jump right in and share with you what I got. Uh, in the last one, if you were caught the beginning of the last one before all of the spinning ball of death happened, I shared with you these two uh, kind of cosmetic bags that I picked up. I got them because they were really, really good quality. They're nice and woven. They have these really nice tassels on them. And then on the inside, it had the name, but I was not familiar with this name. And it is Americana, and I couldn't read the rest of it. So I thought, you know what? This one was, it was half off, so this one was three bucks. And the other one was two dollars, like that. Um, so they were half off, so it was five bucks for both of those. And let me share with you, I pulled up the research so you could see, that's not it, what I found out about these. Oh yeah, I'm back. Hey Dan, how's it going? Yeah, let me know if it looks okay because we have oh, internet. Okay, so this is the brand that uh, it is. Those little purses are Americana by Sharif. Now the little, I don't know what you call them. I guess they're cosmetic bags. They didn't end up being amazing, but I kind of, you know, they're hit or miss. That's just the thing. You're taking, I was taking a chance on them. But now that I know the brand, I see that some of the other purses or bags in this brand can go for decent money. So there's that. Uh, the one that I had was like this one. So $5. This one doesn't look like it has a tassel on it, though. No, it looks like it's missing the tassel. But anyway, um, I'm not sure that I'll sell mine. This one says it was going for 5 bucks. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing with it. Let me know in the chat if the feed is looking okay. I'm looking over online and it looks like it's okay. So yeah, I think it's, I think we may be all right. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm not very good with technical problems. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I picked up at the estate sale was this bracelet and where did they go? Here it is. Okay. I just dropped it and ran. I was so upset. Um, it's a little souvenir bracelet. It's got these white enamel kind of curved rectangles and then it's got Tigano, Tikino, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, Tikino. Somebody will correct my pronunciation, I'm sure. We've got this crest with the Switzerland flag or Switzerland crest. And then we've got Zurich's crest. Um, so it's a little souvenir bracelet that I got for $2 and this estate sale they had all the jewelry, and apologies if you saw the last one and you're hearing the same thing again. They had like the cases of jewelry, which always makes me sad because it makes me worried that the people who hired them to do the last estate sale, like didn't sell, like they priced it too high so they could take it and make a profit on it. And then, I don't know, it always makes me think that the 
family got like screwed or something. I don't know if that's a, the completely the, the case here, but I did ask her. I was like, "Is this all from this estate sale?" And she said, "No, it's from three estates." But it was a lot. You'll see when I do the the haul. I mean the ride along. You'll see what mm, it was a lot of stuff. Hang on, I just set this down and it slipped right down the crack of the the couch thingy. Okay, okay. Oops, there goes that. Yeah, I didn't um I didn't post in the group because I wasn't sure if the feed was gonna be bad. But if you're watching and you're in you know on uh, in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers or something, go share the video out so they know we're we're going live. See, this is why you have to push the notification bell. Okay, anyway, <laughs> that's fine. So, so the bracelet, let's take a peek. I couldn't find one like it. I was finding little coats of arms that had the, you know, different countries and crests and things like that on it. I found one, let's see. So these ones, yeah, I found one enamel bracelet here that is not like really what I've got but it's the closest thing I could find and this one's going for $89 so hey Christine yeah if you're over in if you're in the group can you go share that I came back live I was so frustrated I didn't even go share I wasn't sure it was gonna work anyway so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to list mine for but because I can't generally when I can't find anything like it I tend to take it high um, so and it's very lightweight so chances are I'll put a pretty high price on it just because I can't find anything quite like it okay so there's one other thing that I picked up at this estate sale and I was originally thinking I think I might keep this because it's a really cool vintage purse it's one of these like hard lucite purses it's got this closure on it and it's spring-loaded you can see there it's spring-loaded and so the spring, you know, hinges up and then it opens on the inside and it's got this mirror like so. And I was like, oh, wow, you know, I know these, you know, they go for okay money. But I started searching and I was like, well, this is a really unique kind of opening. So if I could find another one that has the same style clasp, you know, for opening and closing it, I'm sure I can find, you know, maybe the maker for it. So I paid $20, which I was kind of like, oh, should I do it? I don't know, maybe. And it's in pretty good shape. I mean, it needs a little wipe down. There's some like sticky stuff there. But for the most part, just like sticky, I can get that off. That's no big deal. But yeah, really nice shape. Sorry if I blinded you with my light there. Um, and here is what I found out. So let me get back over here. I did find out the maker, which and that made me really super excited. Okay, so I started doing some research. I was like, oh, this is kind of like it. This one sold for 35. And then I found this Lucite plastic purses on Instagram. Started scrolling through. There's some gorgeous ones here. It took me forever because they're so pretty. But in it, anyway, I eventually came across this one. I was like, hey, that's got the same kind of clasp as mine. As you can see, it's got that like circle clasp just like mine which I thought that's going to be pretty unique for the maker most likely so that led me down the path um, of Willardy Willardy Lucite handbags so this one um, is on Etsy and this one is selling for $99 on Etsy but then when I did a search okay that's hang on let me go back and I'll show you when I searched for Willardy, they, they, they were really pricey handbags. So I'll, I'll come back to that. Hang on. But here's how I found out what mine is. So when I was searching for that and I found that one, um, you can see the maker is on the hinge. Can you see that in there? On the inside. So it gave me like, it pointed me in the direction of like where I need to go look. So I'm like, okay, well, let me pull my purse back out. And so I would have never looked there. I, I, I would not have even thought to look there. So if you can see, maybe you can see. Here's my finger covering it. There, you can kind of see where it is right there. It's got the, the maker pressed on into the metal for the hinge, right? Yay. Okay, so then I did a search for Willardy Lucite purses on just a Google search to see what's all out there. And they are going for really crazy good money. I actually did find mine that, 
you know, here's one, $249 for mine right there on, it's showing it's on Etsy. Isn't that cool? There's another one that's being sold for $250. Um, so when I, at first I was like, oh, maybe I'll keep this one. And then I saw like 250 bucks. I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to sell it. So yeah, there is that purse that I'm going to sell. I'm going to put it up and try to sell it for that $250, right? Yeah, so that's the whole, like, <laughs> I know I posted this as a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde because I had some major winners and some major losers, but I took the chance on them just because that's sometimes you got to take a chance to learn something new. So, oh, thank you so much, Christine. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to share. And there may be somebody else live that they're watching, which is cool. Anyway, so that was one of my major winners. I'm so excited. I didn't look on uh, eBay to see if there were any solds, actually. I just was doing more research. Okay, so then that was it for that estate sale. I went to another estate sale that I'm sure Dan is going to love <laughs> because there were a ton of things that were adult-related. <laughs> I didn't want to touch anything. So <laughs> it was... Innuendos out the wazoo for sure. Anyway, um, the only things I bought there were actually for my kids, strangely enough, <laughs> which sounds bizarre, but yeah, uh, there was like this chemistry, what is it, organic chemistry little set thing, and then we're learning, we're doing space stuff, so I got that. that I spent like three bucks there. Anyway, probably not even worth mentioning, but I thought, well, I'll just share it anyway, because it's one of those things that sometimes I'll buy something for the kids, and then I'll look it up, and then, oh, never mind, I'm not giving that to the kids. So this is selling on Amazon for 15 and the, the Exploring Space book's about the same, 10 or 15 bucks. <laughs> um, then, okay, ooh, I'll come back to this. Uh, so then I went to an estate sale that I got kind of ticked off about, because it wasn't really an estate sale. It was in a store. And they had like listed it on the yard sale hunter as an estate sale. And I got there and I was like, this isn't a store. This is anyway. And then they didn't have jewelry, which they had in their ad. I was kind of pissed off about that, but whatever. But what it did is put me in the right area to go to the, it's called Austin Pets Alliance or something like that. Anyway, they have their own thrift store and they, I've gotten jewelry there before. And again, I have some winners and some losers. So, firstly, these bracelets. Most of the jewelry I got was three bucks, but these bracelets together were ten dollars. And the reason I got them, if you can hear them, is that I think um, I'm thinking that this is going to be bakelite. I'm not 100% sure yet, so I'm going to do a little more testing on it. It's really thick. There's no seams or anything on it. I couldn't, the only problem was I couldn't really smell anything when I rub, you know, to get the friction going. If you've got Bakelite, it's going to smell like formaldehyde. And I can't really smell anything. So it may not end up being, but it's Bakelite-esque. And you can't get the light behind it. So it would be like a root beer Bakelite. And then it had, you know, two other plastic bangles and a wooden one. They even sound right. Don't they? Those of you who know Bakelite, they sound right for Bakelite. Hi, hi. <laughs> hello. Oh, I missed you. There was a, it was retracted, but hello, Yellow Rose Reseller and Rose Better Barbie. Oh, yay. I'm sorry. I missed some saying hey to some people. Anyway, so I got those for 10 bucks. We'll see if this one ends up being Bakelite. It's super duper thick. Anyway, if it is, it could go for some, some nice money. You know, here's some that you can see that are up. Thick root beer bakelite, um, depending on the style, can go for pretty good money. Uh, and I'll keep you posted on that. But look how thick that is. What do you guys think? If you don't, if you know better than I do, let me know. Cause look, I mean, comparatively speaking, like here's a normal bracelet. Here's how. Here's the thickness on that one. It's like really. Anyway, and if you could see the light through it, you could see it's got that dark root beery color. And it's oval. It's not like regular round. You know? Okay, whatever. So, we'll see. That's a big question mark on that one. <laughs> Hello, Rose. Um, so then, I also picked up... Let me see what's next. Okay, I got this other bracelet. This was $3. And it's 
kind of like a Damascene. I mean, I guess it's Damascene, but it's not really refined or really super nice. I couldn't find one just quite like it. So it's got the black panel. It's got the etching. It's, I mean, the rest of the bracelet seems really nice. That's the weird thing about the etched part being so kind of blah is that the rest of it, you know, it's got like a really nice clasp. It's got the safety chain. If I can get the safety chain, it's got this safety chain. Um, where's the clasp? Am I showing you the right side or is that the hinge? No. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then if I can get it open there. Okay. So, and then it's got this really nice mesh inside. So it's like really well done. So I don't know. The, the panels are what's throwing me, you know? Hang on. Clip. Get in there. There. Okay. Hang on. I'm missing something in the chat. Unless it's fake tortoiseshell plastic. Yeah, that's the thing, too. Like, I need to dip it in hot water. It's too... I don't... I think it's too thick to be... It's not tortoiseshell. No, it's not tortoiseshell. Um, yeah, if I dip it in hot water, I'll be able to smell it, and that'll help me out long, out long too, because tortoiseshell will smell like burnt hair, and the... Bakelite will smell like formaldehyde. So anyway, on this one, I don't know. You think this one's old? Yeah, I'm live. I made it. I don't know. I, I didn't share it out. Yeah, Rihanna and I. So who knows? Maybe people will find me. Maybe not. That's fine. Okay, so anyway, this one, let me share. Um, you know, like the Domicine that I'm seeing are much nicer than this one. But I figure for $3, I would take a chance and just kind of pick it up and use it. Um. Are they forget-me-nots? They don't, you don't think they're roses? I'll search. I thought they were roses. Anyway, so, I mean, regular Domicine, I've sold, you know, a nice Domicine bracelet for 75 bucks before. I mean, I guess, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But, I mean, some of them can be really pretty. Um, and then there's different styles of Domicine as well. So, there's that, too. But, yeah, I couldn't find one just quite like it. Look at this one. Whoa. So we'll see. Um, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking at least $30, if not more, I'll probably list it for more. And then I can always bring the price down. That's the thing. So there's that again. I paid three bucks for that. And oh, on the side, hang on. Did I miss something? Oh, these ones here, like that, the little panels. Yeah, okay, okay, cool, okay. Sorry, I misunderstood what you were saying. So then, oh, thank you, okay. Then let's see what's next. So that one is a question mark, whether it's going to be a winner or a loser. Okay, let's talk Alex and Annie. I've gotten Alex and Annie stuff before, and sometimes they've sold like that, usually to people watching the video. But now it's like... Tell me what you think. A lot of times they're like the finish is all worn or they just look like they've gone they've gone south fast. Um, but they had a big basket full of like bangles, like cheapy bangles, and that you would get six of those for three bucks. So in there there were some Alex and Annie. I'll show you the six that I got for three bucks. So I picked up I guess that would make them like two bucks. No, not even two bucks. I don't know. Fifty cents. So the first one is this Alex and Annie that's got this D charm. Hang on, I keep my chat keeps like hiding from me. Big oh oh you went to the crazy estate sale too. Oh my gosh, it was bananas, right? I walked. Did you go into that closet that had like the tub of books? And then when I turned there, I'm sorry, I'm talking to Jamie in the chat. So. She lives in the area. So I turned after I was looking down like, oh, this is interesting, taking a video of the books in the tub. And then I turned and there were all these like love cushions. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, who's going to buy these used positioners? You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> maybe they were gone by the time you got there. So anyway, Alex and Annie, what do you guys think? See, look how what I'm talking about. The finish is kind of like meh. And the finish is like meh. And it seems like the ones that I find are like this. Um, and I don't know if that, I don't know. So there's that one, the D one. And what, I mean, when I see them, 
I see new ones and ones that look nice selling for, you know, 20 bucks or whatever. Mine, however, I'm like, look, here's one that sold for $4.25. Um, oh, the closet. Yeah, it was so creepy. That, that was, was, it was neat and it was weird at the same time. Um, it was, <laughs> it was like that tiled room. Like there was a, a room that was just like, I mean, there was a shower, but it was like a ginormous room that was just tiled. Did you see that one? Oh my gosh, it was weird. <laughs> there was a sink. And then there was like a stand-up shower and then everything else was just this giant tiled room. I mean, I should have looked to see if there was like a drain in the middle of the floor. It was really strange. Anyway, so Alex and Annie back, back on target here. So you'll see when I do the video tomorrow or if I put it up tomorrow. I don't know. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think about Alex and Annie. I think if it's new, they seem to do okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, here's a lot of them. Maybe I need to lot them up. Eight. This one, you know, sold for eight ninety nine. Um, that's true. <laughs> yes, totally, Rose. <laughs> it was weird. It was okay. So then, another Alex and Annie that I got. Um, there were these two crown ones, and here's the thing. Let me scooch this over. This is being sold on Walmart's site. I didn't. I mean, there was an Alex and Annie store at the Baybrook Mall where I was living back in, you know, in Houston. And then now I see like Alex and Annie being sold at Walmart. What do you guys make of that? Okay, so there were two of these. Again, this is the there were six, six of six bracelets for three bucks. So I got these two. Look, I mean the finish is totally wacky on them. I don't know. I was like, yeah, I'll get them. We'll see. You know. I I don't know. So <laughs> here's the thing. So new. It sold for 30 bucks out of stock. Okay, fine. Amazon has it for 38. But mine, I mean, like the finish is like, meh. I don't know. Maybe somebody else still want it. But I figured, well, okay. I'll just check. Hang on. Let me look at the chat real fast. <laughs> oh, for sure, Rose. Is it rose gold? I mean, they're different. It just looks like the finish is worn off. Oh, right. Creepy, creepy. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh no, YouTube didn't notify you. Hey Heather. Hey Peking Treasures. Yeah, it's been weird. The whole internet's been weird. Just fine internet. Be that way. Okay, so then there was another one. This was again I, in the six that I got for three dollars. This one actually looks pretty decent. The finish looks pretty good still. And this one is an L. And it's got the gold finish on it rather than the silver. So, we'll see. Maybe this one will go for a little bit more. I figured, I mean, six six bracelets for three bucks. I can pick up some Alex and Annie. And then the other two things that I got were um, this one that looks kind of like a tortoiseshell. And this is just a plastic bangle that I'll probably lot with some other ones. And then this one, I don't normally, you know how I feel about dirty, dirty cords, right? But this one was, I don't know, it just felt different. So it's got this really cool like hammered metal and then the, the cord to tighten it. I don't normally like ones like these, but I just thought that was pretty cool. You can see. I liked the hammered look of this. And I figured, okay, well, I'm getting these Alex and any ones I need to find. <sighs> I need to find some. So all of these, is that it? Yeah, all of these were three, three bucks, six of them for three bucks. So... Um, this was a, I, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, I think if I, even if I sell one of them, because at, at the Austin Pet Thrift Store, I think I spent $22. No notification. Ah, curses. Um, so, you know, if I sell one, the L one for $14, then that's a good chunk of the money back, right? Oh, hands don't touch. Um, you know what? Strangely, Dan, it didn't smell weird in there, nor was it sticky or gross. It was like a really really big expensive house so I think it I don't know I mean and then like there was art everywhere it was different I mean it was you could tell it was the tail end some of the stuff was crazy expensive but um you'll have to see because it was in a really high-end area like and that it was the house was like a big maze I mean it was cool there was all these cool rooms and yeah the stories I could tell for sure <sighs> 
Okay, so still at the um, pet thrift store, I also picked up, let me see where I'm at here. Oh, okay. So um, when I when I go out looking at thrift stores or estate sales, garage sales, sometimes I have my loop with me. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I feel comfortable pulling out my phone and using the, the Zoom, and other times I don't. Um, so when I was at the Austin Pet Thrift Store, I didn't feel comfortable zooming in on like marks that I was seeing. So one of the things that I do when I am looking at jewelry is I just look to see if I can see a mark. And sometimes my eyes don't read it because I can just see that there's something there. I can't really make it out sometimes. I'm like, okay, it's three bucks. I'm going to give it, you know, get it and give it a try. So that's just my rule of thumb because sometimes it's something really good. Sometimes it's like, meh, it's okay. So some of these ended up being, meh, it's okay. And others, okay, they're good. Anyway, so that's what I do. Um, but I didn't feel comfortable pulling out my phone to zoom in because the lady was like right there. And she was asking me about why I was getting looking at all these clip-ons. And I was just like, ah, you know. And I was like, you know, asking if things were on sale. Everything's three bucks. And she was like, she kept really pressing how it's all going for animals. And I was like, okay. All right. I don't want to be nitpicky then. <laughs> so the first earrings that I'm going to share with you guys are these ones. So they look like. They're like enameled on. That one kind of looks like a plumeria. Um, and they are Hobie brand. So this is the maker. Can you see that? H-O-B-E with an accent aigu on there or an accent. Anyway, again, if you're going to correct my grammar, just be kind. Anyway, I've gotten some, some notifications lately about my pronunciations. Anyway, so... Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I need to get some little readers, grandma readers. So I couldn't find these exact ones, so I looked up Hobie clip-on earrings. Um, again, I spent three bucks on them. Now, I knew that there are some Hobie things that can go for really good money, and then there are some that are just kind of like, eh, they're okay. So I don't think mine are going to be these that go for like $300, but, you know, I mean... I, I don't know. I didn't see some of these more exquisite, exquisitely priced ones. So here's some more Hobie earrings that are going for 22 that kind of have that same style. You know, it's got the gold tone frame. This one is not like, this has got like the petite point where it's, where it's like little teeny tiny embroidery. Um, this one is not that at all. So I don't know. Um, I might just, you know, put these up for, like, here's another pair. I was trying to find something similar because I couldn't find these exact ones. Um, and those ones for about 30 bucks. So I might, I don't know. I mean, I think these ones are prettier than those, honestly. So I might try these around 32. We'll see how I do. We'll see how I do with them. And speaking of that, I've gotten some comments. <laughs> you love my creative linguistics. Thank you. No, I'm not kidding. I almost... On one of my last ones, I got like two messages and a comment about my pronunciation of Givenchy. <laughs> so anyway, I don't, I really, I don't mind people correcting me at all, but just don't do it mean because, because I don't mind being told you're saying it wrong and here's how you really say it, but there are ways to be kind. Anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? I forgot. Anyway, moving on. So the next pair of earrings, um, I couldn't find, there was no maker on them, but I just thought they were cool. Um, they're these kind of matte star dangles. And if you guys know, because this is something that's new for me, uh, look at the back of this clip on. It's got this big hook. What's the deal with that? Does that to like transform it into something else or to make it in, I don't know. Like you can make it into a pierced one easier, but it's got this big hook or I don't know, whatever. So anyway, there's no maker's mark on these, but I just thought they were cool. Yeah. <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> it took me long enough to learn to say Swarovski correctly, and I'm probably still not correct <laughs> pronouncing that one right. Um, so I couldn't find these exact ones, but I just really liked them. They were cool. Um, and so, you know, I was 
trying to find star clip-ons. I'm seeing like 20, 16, 22. So I'll probably try them around the $20 mark and just see how they do. Hey Heather, how's it going? <laughs> Worcestershire. 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 I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I think I did okay. So then the next pair again, these were, this is a good example of I could not read it. Um, so I could see that there was writing, a lot of writing, do, 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 across there. I had a feeling that one of the words was Germany, and it was. So it ended up saying West Germany, which definitely puts them at vintage. And they are these black faceted, like plastic earrings. They're just classic ones. Pretty cool. Um, so let's take a peek at these ones. Here's some West Germany ones. Now these have like triangles. Mine are squares. I don't know if that matters. There's probably somebody who knows what that means <laughs> or it just means nothing. So they're like buttons, right? They're like little button earrings. And so, uh oh, it jumped. What happened to, to my stuff? There they go. Um, so here's a couple ish, kind of like it 20, 28 bucks. I thought I had another pair. Well, here we go. 15 for these ones. So <laughs> they will, they'll probably go up, you know, in that $17 range, kind of in the middle of both of those. I think they're cool. I think they're cool. Cool. All right. Does XC regulate the use of the term vintage? I think so. I mean, you can't, you have to, if you, um, how do I say this? Things, need to be vintage if unless they're like a supply or um handmade so <laughs> they're, they're debating Worcestershire <laughs> um but yeah generally and then if you have something there there are people that take it upon themselves to report you <laughs> if you don't so yeah there are people that take it really I'm like I don't have that kind of time man if I get a shower I'm doing good I don't have time to go police Etsy um, but yeah, there are people that, you know, anyway. so yeah, so <laughs> I'm looking in the chat. Sorry. Let me know how you pronounce Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire. Oh gosh. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Next again, these are some that I could see there was writing on the back of the screw backs, but I couldn't read them. Um, so this is the front of these earrings. They're little gold leaves. They're screw backs. And the backs, when I looked at them with the loop, let's see if you can read it. Probably not. Um, but they say sterling on there. So they are likely to have like um, gold tone, like gold wash on them, like or gold plating, and then are sterling underneath. So these little cutesies. They're little teeny cutesy ones, right? Um, I couldn't find any just like them. I, this is the closest I found that were marked 925, gold-plated, silver leaf earrings, and they're going for 30 bucks. I mean, I... It might be high. It might not. So I might try it at that. I, I, well, I don't... For me to say, I feel like that's awfully high, but, you know, why not give it a try? So I'll probably put mine up about... $24 and I can always bring it down because it's one of those things like I've never sold this before. Maybe this really is going to be worth $30. I don't know. So there's that. <laughs> hey, Adina, hopefully I said your name right. Okay, then next. So those are, you know, again, hit or miss, hit or miss. Next up, I want to show you before I pull it up is, okay, so these earrings are cool. Almost like I almost want to keep them cool. Um, so they're these like teardrop earrings. They're they're like really mod, and then they've got this like burst in the center. Let me hold it up so you can see it better. I've got quite a glare, so it's really teardroppy and bursty. So these are Monet, which again can be hit or miss as far as. When I hold it up, it didn't look like Monet, but it is. Yeah, it's Monet. Um, you hate the grammar, please. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got their thing. Whatever. Um, I couldn't find these exact ones, so if you find them, let me know. Um, but from what I was seeing as far as teardrop, I mean, I, even though I searched for Monet 
it kind of gave me a lots of different things so I'll probably put these up around 35 bucks even though I couldn't find any just like them I think they're cool enough we're gonna try for 35 on these definitely North Star oh good that's a good uh, keyword there I just think they're really cool like very mod looking yeah yeah oh yay hey Tammy oh no yeah take it slow you're good take it slow and easy that's a good question Dan I don't know the answer to that why is it called sterling take note Margaret was able to read one of Dan's comments out loud <laughs> okay so here's another one these sold already but I don't know exactly what they sold for okay then so these ones are, are okay I'm trying to figure out you know my winners and my losers so hey Meryl oh hey everybody go over there and hit the thumbs up I had such a rough time with this earlier that I just almost did not even come back on because I was so mad at my internet so yeah um, rags, you know what? I, I, I pulled everything down. I mean, I, I closed my store. I still had a few things up there as far as eBay goes, my, me selling on eBay. And yesterday I actually went to eBay because I was listing and I was putting some stuff on Etsy and on Poshmark and I was like, maybe I should put it on eBay too. Uh, I don't know. Cause I know Mary does really well and I'm just like, I just got so... I don't know. I got so irritated with them that I'm just giving them a timeout. <laughs> Maybe I'm giving myself a timeout. Whatever. Anyway. So, yeah. Sterling is a high quality. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, moving on. The, I, I'll probably, you know, eventually go back. We'll see. You know what I just realized? These are missing stones. Grrr. I looked at one of them. Okay, this is the, and it might still be okay. I might still be able to sell it. So this is one earring. Look how pretty that is. Okay. And then the other one, I just peeked at it and was like, oh, it is missing stones. Unless they're all yellow up there. They are all yellow. What the? Hang on. Maybe it's not missing stones. Okay. Why? Maybe somebody replaced them? That's weird. Tell me. Tell me why. Okay. Look, why, why do they put like all of these yellows in a row? Boom, 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 boom. Yellows in a row. Instead of mixing it up. I don't know. Anyway, well, yay. It's not missing stones. Awesome. Yeah, I might start back with them eventually. I'm just giving them a break. Okay, so these ones are Weiss, which is a fair brand to um, to pick up Weiss. Yeah, I think I'm, as far as eBay goes, because I know I keep getting the question, um, I think as well, uh, another reason is that I was having to do a lot of other stuff just to straighten things out. Like I would have multiple listings and I'm like, why is this renewed? I don't understand. Like with, with my limited time as it is, like uh, with homeschooling and barely having time to list and barely having time for this, that, and the other thing, I'm like, eBay, you got to get your schnitz schnitzel together because we ain't got time for that. Okay, so these are some cute, cute, cute Weiss earrings that were, I thought, missing stones, but now they're all yellow in a row. Okay, so now, okay, <laughs> here we go. Um, so here we have some, I couldn't find these exact ones, but here you can see that there are some Weiss earrings here for 48. Um, here's some for 35. These ones are not... Why? Oh, it says they are wise. Okay, twelve dollars. I'm gonna sell mine probably closer to the forty dollar mark, honestly, because they're so cool. So here's some more wise clip-ons, but I think mine are like spectacular. I really do. I mean, I think they're so showy. <laughs> they're all discussing the reason why it's called sterling now. So talk to the Brits. They should know, right? <laughs> So, yeah, I'm looking through. You can see different prices. You can see different styles. But I, I'll probably put mine in the third, between $30 and $40. Just because I think they're really pretty. Really showy for those. No quality control. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so they didn't have me in the factory that day. Darn it. Yeah, definitely Easter colors, right? So pretty. Okay, then... I also got so so far everything's three bucks right um, the next thing also three dollars 
They're really cool. They're cameo, but they're like plastic. They're on these like red, dark red, plastic faceted stones. And then it's got like the plastic and then their screw back. So they're still vintage. They're still pretty cool. But um, yeah, I mean, they're not real cameo, but I thought, okay, for three bucks, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up. Hello. So, uh oh, what happened? I don't know. I can't. It will take me a second to read back in the chat to figure out what the, what the thing, what's going on, what's the funnies. Anyway, so here's what I looked up. I was looking for this red cameo, and uh, I found a couple that were not red, but I know I found some that were. Hang on. I I squished my screen. So here's one. This one it says seventy five bucks, but that's not what I've got here. Mine are not as fancy as those ones. However, I feel like I see glue or hair on those. Uh, dang it. I really did look this up, you guys. I had it ready to roll. So here are some that are like 32 over here, but again, way fancier than mine. I did look this up. I'm annoyed with this now. <laughs> look, you can see down on the bottom where I did. So yeah, here's a couple others. Look, what is that? Like, it looks like hair or fuzz on it down in the... Do you see that? What is that? Is that glue? It looks like hot glue that they didn't get off. Anyway, whatever. Sorry if that's your shop. <laughs> so then there's these ones. Again, mine don't have the fancy frame, but they're very similar, sort of. So those are 15. And then these ones, I think it's the same lady, but the frame part's different. So those are 10. So I'll probably put these up for, you know, maybe $15 or so. Yeah. Aggie Maroon. Oh, this is true. They could be Aggie, <laughs> Aggie cameos, right? <laughs> For sure. Okay. Then, oh dear. I'm looking. Now I have to see. Flamboyant. Okay. They're talking about the Welsh. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. I'm moving on. If I dig too deep, I may be sorry <laughs> in the chat. Okay. This is one that's definitely a uh, um, this is one that, like, again, I could not read what it said, but I was like, wow, they really put a lot on there. I mean, this, the name is right there, and then there's something down there, and there's something over there. Wow, okay, I'm going to get these. Well, it turns out that these earrings are, ready, ready, Amway. I've never seen Amway jewelry before, but these are Amway, which is like old school pyramid scheme, right? I mean, for, it's been around for a long time. So there's Amway earrings and they don't sell for a lot. So, I mean, this is where my theory of, well, let's just take it home and see what these ones have on them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, that was, you win some and you lose some, right? So these ones are up for $8. And then there was another pair that was up for like five dollars so these will probably end up in a lot because I don't I'm not gonna list some I just won't list for five dollars I know Amway <laughs> hey treasure experts how's it going okay so then next up Amway hairspray dry clean no I don't I'll have to ask my godmother she sold Amway I don't know if she still does or not anyway yeah <laughs> for the cleaning products not yeah yeah for sure <laughs> So then, next up, oh, the next couple things I didn't, um, this one I didn't look up, or I just didn't look it up. So it's a gold tone brooch. It is magnetic. There's no maker's mark. Um, but I'll probably list this for about, I'm going to cover it like right there, my eyes off. Uh, probably for about $15. And then these earrings were no maker's marks as well. The price, yeah, as a price for high sales. You get some nice little earrings for your cells for this week, for your cells. <laughs> anyway, grammar please. It's sales, not cells. Okay, so then there are these earrings. These are clip-ons as well. I just thought they were cool. Um, There were no maker's marks on them, and they have like a little bit of a curve to them. So they were kind of neat, little cute clip-ons. Uh, three bucks. So again, I'll probably 
put those up for about 15 bucks, maybe. And then finally, do you have a minimum? Picking treasures asking, do you have a minimum you will sell a single piece for before you decide to lot it? Um, generally, ten dollars or more, generally, um, because of the time it takes to like go through and research and but yeah, usually. Usually right around ten dollars or more. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely read it. And then finally, is this final? And then look at this cutie. It's this little okay, what is it? Is it a donkey? I think it's a donkey. Okay, because it's not a horse. Look at the tail. It's not a horse. It's not a llama. It's got big long ears and then this kind of tail. I think it's a donkey or a mule. What do you guys think? Can't give yourself, oh no. Um, yeah, my sales have been slow, but I haven't really been listing. I'm trying to list better, so I'm trying to do better. So yeah, I think it's a donkey and for whatever reason it has no feet, but it's made that way. So it doesn't have feet, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. So, and it does have a maker's mark. And it says um, James H. Hall, I think. Yeah, James H. Hall, Yankee Silversmiths. And I found a couple things from this group, company, whatever. I didn't find the donkey, though. Donkey. Um, anyway, so I found a butterfly and a peacock, rooster. I think that's a cat. <laughs> and that says donkey, but I think that's a goat. What is that? That looks like a goat. It says donkey, but I, I think that's a goat. Look, they do have a horse. Okay, so uh, did I find what it was selling for? So on Etsy, Hall Yankee Silversmiths. Here's one, 11, I don't know. I think I think I would sell this for more than, because some of them are selling for like $10. The cat, okay, good, good. The cat's going for like 40 bucks. I would put the donkey up higher too. Look how awesome he is, right? And there are people that are like, I can't find donkey jewelry anywhere. I need donkey jewelry. And then they're gonna find this. And they're like, yes. $40, that's a steal for donkey jewelry. So I'll probably put him up for, for, for closer to 40 bucks. I don't know about this $10 stuff. I mean, I guess if it was just like, ho oh, hum. Look at that. That's not a donkey. That's a goat, isn't it? What do you think? I think that's a goat. That's a weird looking. That's a goat. Maybe that's why nobody's buying. It's a burrow. No, no. That's a goat, don't you think? You think 18 bucks? I'm going for the stars, lady. Or man, now it says fairy. I'm going for the stars. I'm going forty dollars. Okay, and I think that's a goat, not a donkey, on there. Okay, <laughs> you're like that with fox jewelry, yeah. That's the thing. Like you find something. Like my sister, like bees. You know, I used to really like stuff with alligators and dragons and stuff like that. Alligators mostly, but um, yeah, people like their animal. People have their thing. So donkey, you're going up. <laughs> oh good Sherry yeah okay so that's it thank goodness this started working again and I got I'm gonna get to use my really fun I didn't get to show it to you guys I wonder if I can pull it up my really fun <laughs> I'm, I made a, um, a thumbnail for this which I have to show you guys because I just like you will understand me if they don't understand me that's fine that's just them here I'm gonna show it to you you may have seen it already is this it that's it <laughs> my my thumbnail because I was like okay this is a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde estate sale because there's some good stuff and there's some bad stuff there's some things that made me angry and there's some things that made me happy so definitely the winner is our fancy schmancy purse that I bought for 20 bucks so that's going to be a cool one alright go down there you guys if you're watching later leave me a comment and um, go hit the thumbs up let me see where it is I know. <laughs> I can't see how many people are watching right now. 72 friends are watching. Yay! Go over there and leave a thumbs up. Okay, yeah, somebody's going to want that donkey. <laughs> okay, and I will talk to you guys um, soon. I need to get the, I know the Hulk. <laughs> I'll um, get that right along edited as soon as I can. Tomorrow's a busy, busy day. 
we've got a Nerf war after we do school. But we're going to the park and having Nerf war with some homeschool friends. So that'll be fun. Okay, busy day. We gotta go weigh in for Pinewood Derby. What else we got going on? Piano, all kinds of stuff. Now, we haven't even had dinner yet. Good golly. Okay, I gotta go. All right, you guys. I will talk to you soon. Have a great evening. And yeah, have a great evening. I'll talk to you later. Oh gosh, I lost the, the butt off button again. Here we go. You're just gonna have to put up with me till I find it. <laughs> there it is. I found it. Okay, see you later, guys. Bye, everybody. Have a